Hi everyone, my name is Alina Dima and I'm a Senior Developer Advocate for IoT at AWS. In this video, I will show you how to generate, ingest, store and visualize IoT device metrics by using the embedded metric format EMF and native integrations between IoT Core Rules Engine and Amazon CloudWatch, as well as CloudWatch logs and metrics. The Amazon CloudWatch embedded metric format is a JSON specification used to instruct Amazon CloudWatch logs to automatically extract metric values embedded in structured log events. So in this video, we are going to look at how to ingest metric values embedded in structured log events in batch mode using IoT Core Rules Engine and the basic ingest feature. We are also going to look at storing these log events in Amazon CloudWatch and viewing the metrics in CloudWatch metrics and creating charts on the extracted metric values. Generally, in IoT implementations, devices generate metrics at some interval, be it five or 10 seconds or even more as per configuration. I'm going to be referring to this interval as the sampling interval. To save bandwidth, we might want to report these metrics in batches at an interval I will be referring to as the reporting interval. So very often the sampling interval and the reporting interval are not the same. The devices generate metrics and send them onto a basic ingest topic, as you can see on the diagram on the screen. A rule picks them up and sends them to CloudWatch logs. So in this video, we are going to be looking at four important techniques. The first technique is basic ingest with the benefits of optimizing the data flow by removing the AWS IoT Core MQTT broker from the ingestion path, thus removing the messaging costs. The second developer technique is batching data at the edge. This is more efficient and caters for temporary connectivity loss. The EMF timestamps ensure that the metrics are stored in an eventually consistent manner. A third developer technique is to purposely use the integration between IoT Core Rules Engine and Amazon CloudWatch via the rules action, therefore reducing the need for bespoke code. The fourth developer technique is to ensure that the metrics are following the EMF format so that Amazon CloudWatch automatically extracts these metrics from logs without any code or additional configuration. I will be now switching to my development environment. Before we dive deep into the code, I want to mention that the code is available to clone on GitHub in the AWS IoT Builder Tools GitHub organization. There you're going to find the infrastructure as well as the application code um, and the documentation to get started. You can follow this documentation and walk through the steps with me in the video. Additionally, uh, you can go through the dev two blog that I have put together, uh, and this is going to show you uh, the, the example in more detail. So now let's have a look at the code. Uh, so the first thing I want to mention is that the uh, example is uh, split into two different directories. One of them is where the application resides, and the other one is where the infrastructure code resides. So for the infrastructure code, we are going to be using CDK, um, and we're going to be creating the uh, AWS resources needed for this demo. First of all, the IoT policy, which allows the device to connect with the list privileges and also to publish data onto the um, IoT rule basic ingest topic. Um, then we're creating the log group um, and of course the, the CloudWatch role, uh, which allows, uh, of course, which allows the rules engine to publish data into CloudWatch. And of course the topic rule itself, uh, which has, an, as a SQL statement, uh, a selection of everything inside the, batches ob the batch object from the topic, uh, you know, that we mentioned previously. So this is the basic ingest topic. So we are selecting everything under the batch key. We are going to have a look at that in more detail as we observe the log files later. When it comes to the application, this is using, uh, like most of my videos, we're using the MQTT JS MQTT client because this is an open source library that you can use for your demos. Uh, the client is connecting to AWS IoT Core, and then we can see here that we already have the sampling interval. So on the sampling interval, we are storing the statistics. And then on the reporting interval, which is described here, we are publishing uh, the batched data. Now let's have a look in more detail as to how we're batching the data. So for this, we need to look in the store statistics, right? So um, we are using the system information library, which is a JavaScript um, NPM module for, we're using it in this case for network statistics and for memory. And we are creating this object that follows the EMF uh, schema. 
uh, where we are storing the names, names sending the names, namespace, sending dimensions, metrics, uh, and so on. So we are creating this object and we are populating it with values and we are pushing it into the stat, into a stats object. So we are pushing it into, uh, we are pushing it into a metrics array. And when the time comes, of course, we are, and this is what's happening here, we are iterating over this array that we are creating and we are pushing the data into a batch object. Uh, and the format of the data is going to be the timestamp and the message. Inside the message, every metric uh, snapshot is going to be uh, to be added, uh, you know, separately. Um, and then this data is going to be pushed, uh, is going to be published uh, to, to AWS IoT. So this is this is basically how this code works. And now let's have a look if we run it and see what happens. So the first thing that happens is that the device connects and then we're going to see that uh, metrics are being stored every uh, five seconds. And after 15 seconds, the first ingestion is going to happen. And you can see here that the first ingestion is going to publish a batch of these two objects which are available. And now we are going to continue, you know, the storing is going to, to start again. And then 15 seconds later, another ingestion is going to, is going to happen. So now it's time to look on the, at the AWS console and we're going to start looking at the rule. So the rule was created using CDK. If we look inside, we can see already the rule topic. Um, so let's have a look uh, exactly at the select statement to see that it is exactly what we are expecting. So we're doing indeed select value from star dot, uh, value star dot batch from our topic rule, uh, our, our, uh, our rule topic. And this is basically the array that, result, that, that resides in the batch object we are sending. If we look in CloudWatch, uh, we can already see that this is our log group. Let's, let's refresh this so that we can get the latest data. So um, this is our log group and we can already look at the latest entry and see. So the latest entry is, is this one. Um, yeah, so we can see here, this is our object. So we can see we are sending in batches, but uh, the, the rule, our rules and the way it ingests into CloudWatch is entry by entry, and it is ingesting every entry at the correct location. Uh, because we are following this format, uh, we are going to see that if we go to um, all metrics in CloudWatch, our device memory and device network namespaces are present. So we can already, uh, based on the thing name, which is our dimension, we can already plot all these values and have a look at them on the chart. Uh, of course, we should scroll to the time where we have data. Now, these values are mostly constant because it is, uh, of course, uh, test data. If we go back and we take a look at other at the other metrics, we could potentially uh, plot the memory and there maybe we will see a bit more details. Um, <clears throat> so let us see if we if we go here in detail, we can see. Uh, let us go for the last hour, for example. Uh, we can see that we stopped sending data for uh, for a bit of time, and then we started sending data again. Um, and we can see the, the 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 values in in bytes. So going back to our slides, uh, let's have a, a brief summary of what we have seen in this video. So we have seen how uh, an IoT device aggregates and creates batches of metrics. Um, with collections of individual metric snapshots at different sampling intervals and how uh, the IoT device publishes the snapshots at a particular reporting interval. On the cloud side, we have seen how basic ingests, uh, ingest actually works. So the device ingests into a uh, basic ingest topic from, uh, from which a rule picks up the data and sends it using the batch functionality to Amazon CloudWatch. From Amazon CloudWatch, because we are ingesting the data using the MF format, uh, CloudWatch extracts automatically the metrics. And in this way, we can actually see the metrics in uh, the CloudWatch metrics view. So this was all for this video. Thank you very much for your attention. My name is Alina Dima, and I'm a senior developer advocate for IoT at AWS. If you would like to connect with me or you have feedback about this video, feel free to, um, to reach out on LinkedIn or on Twitter. Also, if you scan this QR code, uh, you will see also links to our 
Dev2 um, IoT Builders organization where you can find more details uh, and more blogs with interesting content. Thank you very much again and have a lovely rest of the day.